Hey everybody, we're at Diamond Shoe Loyal back again with another video. Today we're reacting to another Soul Snack video, Crooked Judge Busted by Undercover Cop. Let's get into it. This video is once again requested, guys. Hello, Mayor. Captain Porter, Circuit Judge Chris O'Brien has been purposely sentencing young black men and women. We have to bring this despicable man to justice. Mango Park versus Reginald Dunbar. I hereby sentence you to the maximum. Life in prison. What? Are you crazy? You order, can't send me to prison order, for life. Order. Life. Mr. Dunbar, please compose yourself or I'll put you on death row. Bailiff, remove this scumbag from my courtroom. Think about it. Yes. Oh, hi, Melissa. Great. Send him in. Oh, and uh, another thing. Please hold my calls for the moment. Thank you. Hello, Mayor. Captain Porter. Thank you for coming. Have a seat. Uh, thank you, ma'am. And thank you for coming on such short notice. Oh, it, it's nothing, <laughs> really. Um, so tell me, how can I be of service? Well, it has been brought to my attention that some individual in the Justice Department is corrupting the sentence for his own personal financial gain. We have enough evidence to suspect that Mango Park Circuit Judge Chris O'Brien has been purposely sentencing young black men and women for huge kickbacks from several profitable prisons. Yep. Wait a minute. O'Brien's, he's, he's been on the bench for what, 10 years? How long has this been going on? <laughs> According to the Probably for about 10 years. Investigation, four years. Four years, okay. And it could be much, much more. So, you're, you're telling me that O'Brien has been sending innocent people to prison? Yes, and giving them the harshest sentence possible in most cases. Don't worry, I'm gonna send you the rest of the evidence to your office this afternoon. Captain? Yes, ma'am. We have to bring this despicable man to justice. And quickly. You gotta tell me twice, I hear you loud and clear. Great. And if there's anything you need, don't you hesitate to give me a call. Don't worry, ma'am. You got the right man for the job. You can count on me. A few days later, Hello? Hello, Captain. This is Mayor Barry. Just checking to see how the investigation's going. Hey, Mayor, how's it going? <laughs> I trust that you have chosen the right person for the job. Well, the investigation's coming fine. I'm looking at the paperwork now. The, uh, the evidence looks pretty solid. It's a bit overwhelming, actually. I plan on putting a guy in undercover, and hopefully this time next week, uh, O'Brien will be off the bench and behind bars. Well, great. I'm gonna put one of my best officers on the case. Okay, call me if you need anything. <laughs> I will. Thank you, enjoy your day. Hey! 
Hey, Captain. How Speaking are you doing? Speaking of the devil. How are you, Garrett? How are you doing? They say you good. wanted to see me. I did. Have a seat. Have a seat. Man, right. you look good. You look <laughs> good, you. brother. Thank you. Thank you. Look, I, um, I have an assignment for you. It's kind of dangerous, but uh, you're going to have time to go undercover. I have to go undercover. Are you up for the task? <laughs> you know it. <laughs> you don't have to ask me twice. So what's the assignment? Well, it's come to my attention that we have a uh, corrupt judge on the bench, and he's been handing out these long sentences and throwing away the key. The bad part is, is that he's getting a kickback from the private prisons because, well, they're making him do so. Uh, that's terrible. What's the name of this judge? O'Brien. Charles O'Brien. I mean, I have a plan right now to put him away, but I'm gonna need your help. Thank you for the opportunity, Captain. And I promise you got the right man for the job. So, um, what's the plan? And lay it on me. I got in contact with Sanchez. Sanchez, he has a contact at the department. Good morning. This is case number 507614, Mango Park versus Reginald Dunbar. Mr. Dunbar, you have been found guilty of possessing and selling illegal narcotics. This is not your first offense. You have been arrested for this before, is this correct? Yes, Your Honor. Now, being that this is a nonviolent offense, some courts may take that into consideration and dole out a lighter sentence but not so in this court. You are a repeat offender. Obviously, you have not learned your lesson. And it is the opinion of this court that you are a potential grave danger to the community. I hereby sentence you to the maximum. Life in prison. What? Are you crazy? You order, can't send me to prison order, for life. Order, Mr. Dunbar, please compose yourself or I'll put you on death row. It's funny that the judge doesn't know he's a cop though. <laughs> or undercover. Oh. Bailiff, remove this scumbag from my courtroom. Bailiff, now! He hates, he hates blacks. Captain Porter, what are you doing in my courtroom? Hello there, Judge O'Brien. Hey, what are you doing? This man is a convicted felon. I want him removed from my courtroom immediately. Who? You don't even, y'all feel like judge is just saying anything just because dude is black. Yeah, this guy's a convicted felon. He can't go. <laughs> Him? Yes, moron. He is a moron. serial drug moron. dealer. <sighs> judge, this man here is no criminal. What are you talking about? I'm talking about, this is Sergeant Mike Garrett of the Mango Park Police Department. He's one of our finest. Excuse me? May, may I approach the bench, Your Honor? You're going to jails. What is this? That there is a mountain of evidence that we have against you. I have seen some corrupt individuals, but um, you definitely raised a bar in this or in this case. Why he covering the mic? Ain't nobody else in the room but them. <laughs> Lord it. Porter, is this some kind of a joke? Does it look like I'm joking to you? Judge O'Brien, you're under arrest. Sergeant Garrett, do you mind coming up here and doing the honor, sir? It's my pleasure, Captain. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be held against you in the court of law. If you don't have an attorney, one will be appointed to you. You'll never get away with this. Come on, let's go. What he talking about, you never get away with this. Dude, the stuff you were doing, you thought you were getting away with, but look, it caught up to you. Do you understand these rights that they have been explained to you? Yeah, I understand. But do you understand I'll have your badge for this? I'll have both your badges. Sergeant Garrett, no, you get won't. the scum back out of my face. Yes, sir, Captain. You know how powerful I am? This is an overporter. I'm coming for you, you hear me? All right, yeah, yeah. Well, good whatever. Luck, Chuck. And I'm pretty sure there are a lot of people in prison who are going to be waiting to see you. 
Let's go, scumbag. Come on, let's go. There's the man of the hour. <laughs> oh, come on. Captain you know Porter did I it. I take all the credit for this. This was a team effort, Mayor. Well, there's something I need to discuss with you. Oh, really? You have a, another case you want us to work? Oh, no. Not quite. But first off, I have to commend you, Garrett, and the entire Mango Park Police Department for taking down Judge O'Brien. Yeah, well, I'm just glad we got that scumbag to justice. As am I. But now that uh, Judge O'Brien is gone, we have a vacancy on the bench. And we need someone who is not only qualified, but respected in the community. Last thing I need is another rogue judge messing up my community. Oh, yep. I completely understand. I know some qualified people. I can send over some recommendations. Oh, no. That won't be necessary. I already have someone in mind. <laughs> oh, no. no, no, no. You cannot be thinking what I think you're thinking. Why not? I've already checked. You have all the credentials. You have a law degree. You passed the bar with flying colors. And you are a valued and trusted leader in the community. Frankly, I think you are a perfect choice. So, you want me to be a judge? I certainly do. I think you would be a great judge. Oh my gosh. She's serious. Absolutely. So, would he have to give up his police uh, badge and everything to become a judge? Now, I know that this is life altering for you, but I want you to really, really think about this. Okay. Look, it's Tuesday. Go home. It's Tuesday. Talk to your <laughs> wife and your family. And just get back with me by the end of the week. Sounds good? Uh, I, Mayor, I will, I will have an answer for you by Friday. Great. I can see it now. All rise. Court is in session. Judge James Porter presiding. You may be seated. Think about it. He'd be a great judge. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I'll be back with more videos and I'm out.